Okay, YouTube. Are you curious to see what a cell phone does when exposed to 50,000 volts or thereabouts? This here is a, basically a handheld Tesla coil. Let me turn the camera's light on. There we go. Um, it's made by Electrotechnic Products. And. Okay, the phone didn't like that. But it's still on. Okay. And. Old car charger. Basically, it's a handheld Tesla coil. It's used for leakage testing of insulation and stuff like that. Um, puts out anywhere from, according to their site, anywhere from 10 to 50,000 volts. So, we're going to see what it does to this cell phone. <laughs> okay, here goes. It powered it off. It powers back on. This thing's rugged, where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like mill spec. Oh, it came back on. Phone did not shut down properly. <laughs> no duh. Um, where's the charge port? There's the charge port. We're gonna, we're gonna charge it up. How the heck do you open that? Hmm. Okay, let's see what it does. Wow! That went off again. <laughs> it doesn't like that. Yeah, there's how you open it. Okay. We're already at a minute fifty. Come on. Hey! This thing is tough! <laughs> okay. We're gonna right to the battery <laughs> okay I don't know what that did but we're gonna watch this static discharge <laughs> They were ESD testing it, so there you go. Oh my god! It's still powered up! <laughs> okay! It would probably take the microwave oven transformer to kill this damn thing. Okay. Shit. That. That's hilarious, that it did not die. Um, there's the microwave of a transformer. really don't know if I'm going to nuke it, but... Jeez. This thing, actually, you can do it to yourself. Yeah, And it hurts, but it's not really bad. Um, really low, low, low amperage. Well, maybe I did fry it completely then. Yep. That's it. I think it died. It's dead. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching.